I, I don't know how to have a dramatic intro or anything. <laughs> This is really, really annoying because I spent over a week on this video. If you don't know what happened, I made a documentary for uh, How Do You Disturb Reality, Jarek 120, Evan Cloyd. People have this curiosity when you watch someone for a certain amount of years and then you slowly just, I don't know, you get bored of their content or you just find other people. Uh, your tastes change and then like, two or three years later not watching their videos are like oh what have they been up to and i wanted to make my own version because i i was heavily inspired by people like jim can't swim or frederick knudsen who do like these documentaries on like forgotten youtubers or like serial killers and things like that so i wanted to do it in that way and i put a lot of work into it a week straight not like a week of like working on it and stopping when i work on a project that big a 40 minute documentary of going through like five years of content actually no like eight years of content and multiple channels on different social media sites just a week straight writing a script all these different things and he just goes through Jarek or evan or whatever you want to call him he goes through it and he Copyright strikes my video and it's not even it's not even the fact that he took it down he's like he also put a strike on it and I'm trying to reach out to him I DM'd him on Instagram and I try to go through his email which he did the strike on also I only have like 222 subscribers and he had he has like he's close up to almost a million the video had only like 125 26 views on it it wasn't something i was going to get a million views twenty thousand views or anything like that but for the people i made it for people were just like wow i i haven't really i i haven't thought about him in a long time i, I don't know where he's been and i don't know i, I understand that he t is going through a a tough time in his life and i wasn't really exposing anything that he didn't put out the internet himself the only thing i really put out there was something i found in a way back machine from a video that he deleted and it wasn't really that it wasn't anything that bad i don't know if it was he thought it was too critical i don't know if you even watched the video most likely he didn't because I the, the I haven't really even said anything bad about him. The, there's probably a couple things where I said that he was I, I said he was a narcissist towards the end. That that's kind of my opinion. I, I guess I don't know why that's such a big deal. I'm 23 years old and I think he made his second documentary or his his second documentary is like 24 about himself. I, I don't know. In my opinion, it's kind of narcissistic. In a way, most people don't even get documentaries about themselves until they're like, they make like an impact in the world or something. Amazing Jonathan's like in his 50s or 60s and got, just got a couple of documentaries made about him. I don't know if it's because I went through his old, like I, I talked about his old girlfriends. I didn't really even talk about them. I, I mentioned them and there's still videos on his channel. It's like I dig something out. They're all out there that have thou hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views with them in that in them. So I don't understand what his problem was and I've been trying to reach out and still just no response. It was only like a couple hours ago, but I did it almost immediately after he struck the video down. So I honestly don't know what to do. I <laughs> I tried to reach out to him. I don't know if I should wait days. I, I've been waiting hours. I, I shouldn't really have to wait days for like a very basic response of asking him, why did you what he did was actually illegal because he literally struck down my video it's completely all fair use with information that was already out there he could have just met you actually that let me stop talking to i i should talk to him directly like jarek or evan or whatever you want to be called i guess evan so evan you could literally just come to me and just like comment on the video or dm me or anything like that or emailed me saying like hey you're not really comfortable with the video being out there it's really just 
a cliff notes of your entire YouTube career, so I don't know why that was such a big deal. All this stuff's already out there. But literally abusing the copyright system to silence me, I, I don't know why, why you thought that was a good idea. And I hope you guys like understand my frustration. It's just a whole week of something. I, I worked very, very hard on this. I worked super hard and I tried to dodge a bunch of copyright claims for all the music that he was using. I actually also that's the biggest, the, the most ironic part is that he basically like in a lot of his videos and in his documentaries, he literally uses a bunch of copyrighted music in them and he still currently does that in his latest videos and he strikes down my video because it's about him it wasn't even like a critique or anything i could have and i was thinking about doing it doing it like in a very jokey way kind of like um internet historian i was going to do it in that way but when i found found out about the whole mental health issues and things like that i didn't i wanted to take it for a more serious approach and i i said at the end of it i hope he's in a better mental state i hope he gets the help that he needs i it, or was it evan was it because you said the n-word in the video dude i i don't care i don't think anyone really cared you you said it multiple times in different videos i'm not gonna put it here you could go through and you could find it on his channel because he's probably gonna try to strike this video down for some reason and I worked very, I work very very hard on my videos and he basically just tried to bully me into submission like he, I reached out a helping hand I, I I really don't I could keep the video down if it makes you uncomfortable or you could at least talk to me like an adult like you literally just turned 30 this year like in June you just turned 30 like two months ago like a month and a half ago and I, I don't know. This is just, it's just really frustrating. It's like I could try to like submit a counter or just wait all the way to November, but I shouldn't have to do either one of those things. I shouldn't. I really don't want to go into the legal thing because I don't know if he's like crazy enough to do the whole legal thing for someone who doesn't even have uh, over a hundred, who doesn't even have. 100 250 subscribers like really yeah you you definitely need to remove the strike because first it's it's illegal and second it, it's completely fair use like the entire 40 minute video it's it's literally just pictures and some clips of me also talking over it 90 percent of it and you strike the entire video down because there's like two minutes or like some section I don't remember what it is like you could still come out and like just talk to me and explain why you took the video down there's like really you honestly don't have any right to do that at all you could talk to me and literally say hey I'm not comfortable with this uh, please take it down or whatever you don't go in and you strike someone's chance it's just i i don't understand why people literally think they just because their face is in the video that they get to strike it down this is literally like onision behavior i'm i, I don't want to compare you guys because it's really the only thing there's really nothing to compare you guys about but this is exactly what he does when someone criticizes him he just, he just strikes down their video, tries to silence them, abuse the copyright system. Okay, he oddly... <laughs> I just, I went, I went back through it, and oddly enough, he sh struck down the area where he explained where Jer came from. I have no clue why. Is it because I said it got less views? Because that's, that's, that's a, that's a fact. The first one had almost a million views. The second one has a hundred thousand views, and I, I don't know. I honestly, I have no clue why he did that. I would probably say like if he probably would have struck it down for the when I found the way back machine with Machinima, but I don't know if he even do that. Yeah, and that 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 one is it doesn't it have like four or five songs copyrighted songs in it? Like literally, isn't like Drake's song playing in the background of this whole scene? I would like if you would. 
like be an adult and just reach out. It, it's <laughs> the, the, none of this makes sense. I, I could I at least get like an interview or something with you, or like we could talk on the phone. Uh, we could do it publicly. We could do it privately. But literally abusing the copyright system does not give you a right to do that at all, even if your face is in it. And if I talk over it for 40 minutes or 35 minutes and you claim two minutes of a entire 40 minute video, uh, you, you clearly don't know how any of this works. It also, amazingly coming from a YouTuber, it, it just, it's someone who's been doing it for like almost a decade now, actually over a decade. And none of this, none, none of this is like, it, none of it adds up. It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, guys, it's just, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he won't respond to this video. I don't know what to do. I don't want people to go and harass him or things like that. I don't know if I should repeal it. I don't know how, I, I, I don't want to do any legal ash, action for like a petty little video, but you can't have people going through threatening small channels with someone almost a million subscribers with someone who barely has 250 and you're going to do threatening them just making a video not even like a a critique like literally just condensing all the information you put out on the on the internet condensed to one video and you're upset about that for some reason i i don't understand and you claim you claim a part of the video that you put in there and it's the one that also has copyrighted music in the video and it's just the irony is just <laughs> I don't know but yeah I, I just worked very hard I, I worked extremely hard on it and that that is the most just a week straight of just going through all this stuff all right that that is it i don't know what other way to contact him i went through his instagram email no response so far but uh i don't know i might post this everywhere but yeah thanks guys